Center, Matt Melzak and Rob Bursinski. And uh, Rob, uh, as we look at the standings and how they stand in the North Division, Fort Wayne just hanging around. Now Toledo has gone to 100. Uh, and three points with their 48th win, but at last check, Fort Wayne was up over Indy. So they're kind of hanging in there with that last weekend in the balance on who's going to take the North. Yeah, it looks like Indy is maybe a little bit uh, coming up a little short there, but uh, Wheeling for sure, boy, it, just a week ago you were looking at that and thinking, oh, they're in, they're in good spots. Uh, they control their destiny, but now, uh, you know, they, they have a game in hand on, uh, on Cincy, but, uh, boy, they're going to have to turn it around really quick. But if you look at that from uh, really from one to six, it's, it's still, you know, anything could happen as far as who finishes one, two, three, or four. Yeah, basically Indy is pretty much out at this point. Wheeling is still alive there, of course, Rob, but they're going to have to do something here soon. At last check, they were losing to Kalamazoo. So if Kalamazoo and Cincinnati both win tonight, Cincinnati well in hand on Evansville, so they're going to go to 71 points. So now all of a sudden, that could turn into a three-point cushion, and we could be looking at either Kalamazoo or Cincinnati for the first round. Yep, and boy, I tell you what, uh, both those teams uh, have given uh, you know Toledo you know tough games over the course of the season, uh, whether it's a first-round matchup against Kalamazoo or Cincinnati. And so, while well, you look at that uh, those standings, you just you never know who you're going to have to face. But uh, both those teams, you're going to face them next weekend, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it really is. Toledo might have a little say yet in who they end up facing with the fact that you play Cincinnati on Friday and then back-to-back -back games against the Zoo. Yep, and, and still a lot to play for again with Toledo uh, still trying to hang on in the, the top of the division, top of the conference, and top of the league. Yeah, unbelievable the way this season has turned out. And, of course, a 103-point year. It still could be more coming up for the walleye.